Welcome to this lesson. In this lesson, I am going to show you how to interact with the DOM with JavaScript. So let's get started. The first thing you have to do is to understand how the DOM works. You should know that the DOM is like a family tree. And if you don't understand that why you are learning HTML, I will link you to a video tutorial on that. So let me just explain the basic thing you have to know here. This one is an element. It is the parent of this one and the parent of this one. This one also has some children and here are the children. One, two, three, four. So this one has its child too. This is its only child. So, you can see that HTML is like a family tree, and I have explained that in the tutorial I will send to you. So, don't worry about that. So, let's get back to the DOM. Now, if you want to deal with the DOM in JavaScript, the first thing you have to understand is that you have to access the DOM before you can manipulate it. The first thing you have to think of is, how am I going to access the DOM? And what is accessing the DOM? Accessing the DOM is about connecting to the DOM so that you can select an element or some elements that you can manipulate later. How do we select an element with JavaScript? <laughs> okay, let's see how it goes. This is it. Let parent equals to document dot get element by id so what is the id of that parent it is parent so we are using the, the id of the parent to access or select the parent element you see that we have selected it and for us to know that we have selected it we have to just console.log it console.log parent see that can you see that div parent dot parent so it means we have accessed it we are now connected to it now we are connected to the parent tag like that so that is how to access an element with its id and this is possible because the element has an id of parent you can see it here that is the first way of accessing an element and that is what we call single selection i have selected an element like that so that is what i call single selection let me show you again you see that this is the parent node and you know it's working we are able to select it now let's talk about multiple selection multiple selection has to do with selecting two or more elements at a time it is possible to select two or more elements at a time when we select the element by a tag or by class so let's do that and let's use tag to select elements let's just say elements you know we want to select multiple we have to use plural in that case because it is element. So let's just say document dot get element by tag name. So we are using tag name. What tag are we using? Let's use div. In this case, if we use div, it means that any div tag that is on this page will be selected. It means we have this one: one, two, three, four, five. You know, it's going to select all of them. Let's just console the log elements now. Elements and save it. Dun, dun, dun. You see that? We have four elements. You see? HTML collection. We have four of them here. Parent, image, container, pagination, and all of this. So we have all of them here. That is how to select multiple elements with their tag name. We can also use class name to select multiple elements. You can say get element by class name. What is the class name we want to use now? Let's just say parent. So in this case, one will be selected, right? Because we only have one. 
You see that one is selected because we only have an element with the class parent on this page. And here is it. This is the only parent, only element with class parent. That is why we have just this one here. So but if we have many of it, it means we are going to have more than just one. Let me give you an example. Let's create another element that has let you span and let's give it a class of parent class parent so if you check that now it will be two you see that mm, 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 mm. yes that is what we are expecting we now have two of them we don't need this one don't let me put it there in case i forget let me just remove it it is one again so that is multiple selection by using get element by class name maybe you want to select multiple elements with their class name you can use that another thing we can use is the query selector how does the query selector work it works by selecting whatever you want to select with the selector you know in css we have some selectors you can use those selectors you use with css with this query selector to select elements with javascript so we can just do it like query selector and we are selecting parents so it will get parent for us oh no why do we have this error oh i see you know that we are using query selector and this one is abstract we have to indicate what exactly we want to select in this case we use dot to indicate class so it will work now you see we have it here now div class period because we have just that one and we have it here and query selector will only display or gets just the first element that matches the class we have displayed this but the thing is query selector we only select an element that matches the selector we provide here it will select just one of them it will select just one of them not all of them to show you that let me add another element that has parent as its class let's use another span and let's give it class parent and see what happens boom, boom. we still have the same why 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 is it like that because query selector only selects an object that matches the selector we provided to the query and that is why we have one despite the fact that we have two now but if we want both of them what are we going to do oh ho, ho, ho. yes that is why we have query selector all let's see how it works let's just put all here and see what happens you see we have two nodes selected here parent parent we now have two of them span and div now we have two of them do you see the difference between query selector and query selector all now if you just want to match the first element that matches the selector then you use query selector but if you want to select whichever element matches the selector then you use query selector all that is it now what are the other things you have to know about accessing the dom let's talk about this query selector of a thing you can use anything any css selector here and it will still work another thing you have to know is that after selecting multiple elements here this one is now like an array of objects that you can iterate over like an array let's pick the first element by treating it like an array you can just say element dot children we can treat these children like an array you see now that we have understood the query selector and the query selector or another thing i want you to understand is that we can also select elements with css selector if we understand them let's use it now let's first remove this one i'll bring it back if necessary we only select parent here so parent we select parents now let's log it in the console console.log parent 
and boom, you see, we have parents in the console. And the parent as children, if we want to interact with our children, then how are we going to connect to them? We can say parents.children. We can now treat the children like an array because we have many of them. You see here now, this is the parent. It has this one as a child and it has this one as another child. That means it has two children. Let's now pick the first child. That is first child. You see that? We pick the first child. Image container. Let's pick the second child. We can see one. That will pick the second child. You see that? We pick the second child. So we are now interacting with the children of that parent. So we are accessing them through their parent. Also, we can use CSS selector to interact here. Maybe we want to select the first child of the parent element. We can just say parent element, this, um, any element with div tag. So it will select the first child of parent that has div tag. You see that? It logs this one. So we are using CSS selector. That is that. You can use the selector once you understand them to to access the elements from the DOM. This is how to go about that. After you have selected an element or some elements, you want to manipulate the elements. So what do we mean by manipulate? Manipulate means that we can change them or control them to fit our interest to do whatever we want that is what we mean by dom manipulation we change them or interact with them for them to suit our interests or our needs now we'll be manipulating the dom so the first thing we want to do now is select the parent element first we can just say parent this one will select parent as usual. It's working. It's still working here. Uh -uh, don't doubt that. It's still working. The next thing we want to do is to access the attribute of this parent element. When I say attribute, what am I talking about? I am talking about this thing like class, ID, value, and some others. If you want to grab this class and its value or this ID and its value or any other thing and its value, then how do you use JavaScript to do that? And that is what we want to do right now. So let's do that and see how it works. We have selected the parent. Let's select some of its attributes. We can now see parent.get attribute. We now put the attribute we want to get. So now we want to get the class attribute. So it will show the value of that class attribute. Now let's check it and see what will happen. Dun, 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 whoo. You see that? We have parent here right now. And it is what we have here. The class attribute is parent. Now we are going to check for ID2 and see what happens. See that? ID, okay, gum, gum, parent. So it's working. So that is how to grab the attribute of an element. Maybe you want to use it for something. Maybe you want to use it to buy something. Okay, sorry, that, I, I'm just joking. So that is how to use it. The next thing we want to do now is, or oh, should we just grab another element? Maybe you think like, <laughs> This guy is just trying to use cheat. Okay, let me grab another element. So let's just grab another element and get its attribute. Let's img equals to document dot get. Okay, what should we get? Get element by id. Let's get an element by its id. Get element by id. So, and let's set its id. The id of this image is called slider image. Okay, let's see that. Okay, and let's log it in the console first so that we will know it's working. IMG. Hooray! 
yes, we have it right here. We have grabbed it. Now, what we want to do now is to grab some of its attributes. You know, we can change them. We can do whatever we want with them. But the first thing is we have to grab them before we can do anything to them. So let's grab them. This is what we are going to do now. We are going to do img dot um get attribute and which attributes are we going to get i know you would like me to get the src attribute you know that if you want to insert an image or to display an image with that tag we will just put a path to an image as the value of the src attribute so let's get it and see src it will just return an empty string because there is nothing there let's see nothing okay you think i am joking but maybe it's not working i'm just trying to you know deceive you okay let's put something there and see what will happen let's just say um image slash rubbish okay let's save it and see what happened boom you see we have its image slash rubbish you see that it's working we have grabbed it and that is how to grab attributes of an html tag then if you want to set your own how are you going to do that if you have used bootstrap before or view you might have seen something like data and something like that and you have to put something there so they they created those attributes and you can now create your own so let's create one attribute for this image and let's just say img dot set attributes what are we setting let's set data modal okay and what is its value let's give it open so let's save it and we now want to get the attribute data modal because we have created it now let's get data modal data modal you see that we see open here because we have created it and we use get attributes to get it. That is how it works. There is no whatever like that here, you see. There is nothing like that here, but we created it and grabbed it. That is how to set and get attributes of an element. Then let's go a bit further. We want to talk about creating tags. So let's create tags. How do we create tags in HTML? Here, let's just copy some of the things we have used here and let's make use of them. So, okay. Okay, we are deleting all of this. We are going to use parent alone. What is the next thing that we have to do? The next thing we have to do is to create an element. Let's create an element and we have to put it in the parent element. So let's create an element. Let's li we are creating a list element just say document dot create element by writing that you are telling the document to create an element then you will now tell it create an li document so whatever you put here is the element you are creating you put li you are creating li element it will create an li element how do i know that do you want to know Okay, let console.log it. Console.log li and see what happens. Hooray! Yes, we have li here because we have created it. The next thing we might want to do here is to add an attribute to that li tag. We can just do li dot set attribute what attribute can we set let me just set something okay let me set uh data let me just put i just want to put something not reasonable okay so data is equals to yes okay we have done that if you now go to the console and see our li again you must see this attribute and its value let's check that right away so hmm, you see that data yes 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 it works that is what we want and it is working as expected 
we have set the attribute of that element, we have created it. But the thing now is we don't want the li to be on its own or alone. We want to put it somewhere. We want to put it in the parent. So what are we going to do right now? What we are going to do is we are going to find a way to put it in the parent. How do you put an element into another element? Okay, there are so many ways to do that. The first thing is appending. When I say appending, what do I mean by appending? You put an element at the end of a particular element. Let me explain that so that you really understand. This is an element here and it has two children. Now we want to put another child, right? So by appending, we are going to put it as the last child. That is what appending means. Let's now do it. We are going to just do parent dot append. append so what are we appending we want to append li so let's see what happened we are going to log parents now we are not logging li again we should log parents so that we will know that it is now in the parent so let's log console.log parent and let's see what happens boom Let's check inside the parent and see whether it works or not, and then we will know what to do. Okay, let's check. <sighs> One, two, three, hooray! Yes, it's there. You see that? We have appended that element into the parent element. So that is what is called appending. And the next thing is prepending. Prepending means that we don't want it at the end. We want it at the beginning. So, how are we going to achieve that? Okay. Oh, I'm scratching my head. Okay, let's try. Let's see what we can do about that. Okay. Now, prepending. How do we prepend? Put it at the top. Okay, let's remove this one. If you want to prepend, you have to first select the element on top of which you want to put it so that is the first thing to do let's target this is our target the element we are targeting let's just grab that element document dot get element by id okay if it doesn't have an id i am going to create that Okay, this is the element, the, the first child. Okay, let's just put, uh, so let's just do, yo, 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 yo. Okay, you like that. I know you love it. Okay, let's just do ID, yo, yo, yo. Okay, we have selected the target. And for us to know we have selected it, let's console it. Console.log target. Yes, we have it here, you see? Here is it. We have done that. The next thing we want to do now is to now put li at the top of this one before this one. So how are we going to do that? We can just do target dots before and we put li. You know, this one is ESC's method. Let's console.log parents now and say maybe it will now be at the top. Let's check it. Okay, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared to check it, okay. Oh, yes, it's at the top. Can you see that? It is at the top. Can you see it? So, I have appended it. That is what is called appending. And there's another way to do it. Let me use another way. I can just use um, parent node. Parent node refers to the parent of that first element. So, insert before the meaning of this is that we are telling the parent of this target to insert li before this target li target okay yes it's now working so let's see if it works i'm scared oh yes it works it works you see it Yes, 
That is it. So we are done with prepending. The next thing we want to do now is um, we want to put text in this li so that we can make use of it. So let's remove this one so that I will not be, you know, showing a lot of things. Okay. Okay. We want to put text content, text in this li. How do we do that? We can just say li dot inner text. So we put text here. We can just say, yes, I am a ninja. Okay, that is it. So let's check it in the console. Let's log li in the console here and see whether it has this as it's text okay okay let's remove this one i'm scared oh okay yes it's inside it you see that so that is how to do that we have put the text in that as its text node okay what if we now want to get its text node how are we going to do that we can simply do li dot text content and its content will be logged in the console now Boom! yes yes i am a ninja you see that we have it right there and it's working and that is what we expect and that is what we get what you see is what you get what you see is what you get. Okay, we have done that. The next thing we want to do now is inserting HTML into it. We want to insert HTML and we want to get HTML content. So how do we do that? Okay, the first thing we have to do is to first um, put HTML content into it. We can just do head I dot in a HTML, in this case, we are putting HTML into it. We cannot put it as a string. Okay. Diff. Okay. We close it. Diff. Um, let's write another one, another stupid one. H1. Okay. Close H1. H1. So, we have that now. So, let's see it in the console now. It does not have HTML content that we can also interact with them with JavaScript. Let's see it. Let's check it out and see it. Boom. Okay, you see that? Do you see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is it. We have it right there. And that is what we want. You see that? It's working. We have put it here now. We have done that. The next thing we want to do is to get the HTML inside this LI. So you can get an HTML inside it by doing inner HTML. So you see that it throws the inner HTML at us and we have it right here. That is how to do that. And you have let that and that is very important. Those are the major things you have to know about accessing the DOM. So I'll give you a question now and this one is based on on the table so you have to do that one yourself i cannot do everything for you if i do everything for you you are not going to work and programming has to do with practice you have to practice so your assignment is adding table row and cell with javascript thank you that is it i will see you in the next lesson don't forget a true roman never surrenders